Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be unboxing the August Apaca Box. If you're not familiar with Apaca Box, this is a survival themed outdoor subscription service. Now this is put out bi-monthly by Creek Stewart. So every other month for $50 plus shipping, you're going to get a box like this. And this does not just include gear. This also includes training. It includes knowledge. This is truly something I look forward to every other month. So enough talk, let's pop this open and see what's included. Now this box is a little bit earlier. Uh, Creek has been putting out a little teaser email. And before this was always secretive and you really never knew what you were getting. And it's still a surprise to a point, but he does kind of key in on what some of the items are. And this box is a few days early, so that's always a good thing. All right, so right here on top, there is always a little pamphlet. So every Apaca box has a pamphlet with it. And the pamphlet kind of goes over all the information on all the items, as well as a skill challenge. So the skill challenge this month, it's kind of a teaser here. You're gonna assemble and use your Makataguan, which is a crooked knife. So there is a crooked knife somewhere in this box and I cannot wait to find it. So I did not have to wait long. The very first thing out of my box is the Crooked Knife workbook. And this is put out by Reptile Tool Works. So you can see here, there's the blade, the blade cover, and a handle. And if you're not familiar with the Crooked Knife or the Makataguan, this was the multi-tool of the Native American people. And this actually is used edged in and it's used to draw towards you because you remember they wouldn't really have a full workbench like we do today. They're holding on to all their stock. So with this, you can flatten. Uh, there are certain uh, Makataguans that have a rounded tip where you can actually make concavities and make bowls. Uh, a birch bark canoe was a prime use of a Makataguan. So this one has a, a blade wrap on it as well. So this was a highly, highly praised item on the American frontier. The Native Americans used this for darn near everything. And this particular one does have that little curve so I can make a concavity or a bowl with it. And they would just make it to whatever, whatever craft they were trying to do the most. If you were making more canoe slats to make a birch bark canoe, this would be probably flatter. But you've got the flat, you've got the radius, you've got the tip of the curve. So there's all kinds of detail work you can do with a knife like this. This is something I am super stoked about. I'm a huge fan of crooked knives. Uh, I will absolutely be doing a full video as well as a short review on the crooked knife. So next thing out of the box is a waxed canvas pouch. This is the solitude pouch. This was actually on the cover. And I've got a zippered compartment here. And what this is designed for is for a field journal. So you can put a pencil, marker, you know, a few other key items like that, maybe a short six inch rule. And then this would fit in your bag, in your haversack. You could put this in a cargo pocket. And you see it's got Creek's logo on it. Very cool, I like this a lot. Next out of the box, I have Herb Savvy pamphlet. And this covers a few recipes for elderberry tea, elderberry syrup. So that is pretty nice. So next, this is another project, which I'm a huge fan of, in addition to building the Makataguan. This is a buckskin button kit. Now, this is like a rolled up piece of leather. Uh, Ron Hood used to have quite a few of these. I saw him do this in a video before. So that's a great way to utilize natural materials if you've got some leather left over from a project. So this one uh, will be pretty cool. I will do a short video on this as well. So next up is a bushcraft notebook. And man, this is pretty nice. I was expecting just a simple blank notebook, but this actually has places where you can fill in areas for your gear list. It's got, I saw how to make a solar fire food pack list. So there's also blank pages for journal entries. Uh, tender bundles. So there it is. Very cool. I like this. This is a really nice setup. So this next item took me a little bit to figure out what this was. 
and that was even using the pamphlet. This is an aluminum can upsizer. So what this does is it scores and cuts aluminum cans. In addition to the aluminum can upsizer, which is gonna cut a hole in a can, he included a piece of a pool noodle here, and then there's a skill video on turning this into an urban cache. So you could put critical survival items, you could put your keys, you could put money, you could hide this a lot of different places. I will do a follow-up video on the aluminum cache. All right, I love a theme and I have a tactical pin here. So this pin is really cool. This has got Creek's logo on it and I've got a carbide glass breaker on this end which would come in handy for self-defense or for breaking a car window in a true emergency. Uh, it's got a pocket clip and you know it, it's gonna work just fine. So now we have a notebook, we've got a pen, and then we've got this neat organizer. So next out of the box, I have a multi-belt kit. So let's take a look at this. So this nylon tactical belt is pretty darn heavy duty and it's got the buckle already on it, but he included a spare buckle as well. So if you wanted to pick up some more of this nylon webbing, you could make straps for your backpack, you can make bedroll straps, you could convert this into a strap uh, for a crossbody bag or for a haversack. He's also included a nylon keeper to keep this tab down. Now this thing's pretty darn big and he has included uh, a video on how to cut it and how to trim the ends properly. There's also an pocket box pen. So there is a knife in the box as well. And this is a French farmer's knife. So if you have ever owned an open L, this looks a lot like an open L. So there is a collar lock and it would lock it closed. And when it's open, it'll lock it open as well. So this appears nearly identical to an open L. Same kind of handle, very thin blade, and razor sharp like an open L as well. So this is great. I have an open L number eight, which is a little bit smaller than this. And that knife just gets scary sharp. So this is definitely something that you could add to one of your bags and always have a super sharp knife with you. This thing is not something you're gonna wanna baton and build a shelter with in the wilderness, but most of the cutting tasks we do, a sharp knife like this is gonna work out perfectly. So the last item in the box is a big magnesium bar. And this thing is definitely got the big part right. Let me use my new French farmer's knife and open this up. So this is highly, highly flammable and it's pretty darn soft. So you could use your carbide scraper off your ferro rod. You could use the back of your knife. You could scrape this up and hit it with a ferro rod and you are gonna have a fire in nearly any weather condition. So I absolutely love the August the Pocket Box. This has been one of my favorites and right here is why. I am a huge, huge fan of the Makatagwan. They're hard to get and there's because they're more difficult to find, not that many people are aware of them and, and how to use them. And this is going to be great when I contour this and make it fit my hand. I've got several Makatagwans. I will uh, show those in follow-up videos when I assemble this kit and when I actually start to use it. So make sure you subscribe to see my Makatagwan collection as well as how this finishes out. I'm a huge fan of the projects anyway, and this buckskin button kit is pretty cool. It's a neat old-timey tool. Now, speaking of not an old-timey tool, making an urban cache out of a pool noodle and an aluminum can is not really something I've done. And I teach class on urban survival, so that's definitely something I'm anxious to add to my arsenal. This is a pretty slick way to open a can cleanly. You don't need something so fancy, but if you've got it, man, does this thing do a nice job. I got this great pen as well as a pamphlet on Herb Savvy for the Elder. This is something I'm really liking. 
it's great to have a notebook. I always do. Most of the time, I'm not that organized with it. I have pencils somewhere in my bag. I can't always find them. I also like the fact that this notebook is not just a blank generic notebook. I've got places where I can add notes of my choosing, but it's got fill-ins for lists. It's got skills in here as well. This with the pouch with the pen is something that's going to be in my leg pocket or in my haversack pretty often. Now I'll round that out with a tactical nylon belt, a giant magnesium bar. This thing is huge, as well as a French farmer's knife. And you can see why I'm so excited about this. And this was a $50 kit. So that Makataguan plus probably just this belt and this French farmer's knife would have been completely fine. But all those other extras and add-ons is, is great. I cannot wait to do the projects this month. That Makataguan is something, as soon as I saw it was coming out, I got really excited about it. That is my kind of tool. That's something that... You can take a simple tool in the woods and just build a lot of cool things with it. And that is what I'm all about. So if this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. If you like this Apaka box, sometimes there's extras. So if you head over to my Apaka box, every once in a while there's extras, they usually sell out. So the best way to get the next box is signing up today. So I'll put my link in the description below. Go ahead, use that, head over to the Apaka box and sign up. So project knowledge, skills, and gear, this box had it all. There is not a thing in this box I would change. I absolutely love it. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.